hello friends in this video I will show you how to log in or register using firebase in sketchware so here this is the project for which I have set up firebase and here one thing which you have to make sure is that this project ID the project ID here should be same as the ID which is written here it should be same as this text in real time database okay so once we have added these the project id app id api key and storage bucket url we have to save this and switch on app compact and design okay and then we have to create a view like this in our main activity so here I have this edit email edit password edit username then there is a button for forgot password and there is a button for recent verification mail this is ID here is text underscore verify then I have a button for login or register and ID of this button is login and there is this text view called change underscore mode this is for changing the mode from login mode to register mode and from register mode to login mode and here I have added intent component I then I have added a firebase auth component f auth then there is a dialog component and there is a firebase db component users users now in on create first I set it to login mode so first I will show you what is login mode here I have created these more blocks one is login mode and other one is register mode so in login mode I set this edit username gone in login mode edit username will not be visible I will just show you the login mode this is the login mode so here you see only the email field and password field and the username field is not there okay further the forgot password text view is visible here you can see the forgot password text view then the title is login and the text of login button is also login text of this change mode is register new account and the text view text verify is visible so you, here you can see it is login and here also the text is login and here the text is register new account and this recent verification mail is visible and here I have created a boolean variable called login underscore mode and I have set it to true so this is the login mode then there is a mode block called register mode and here edit username is visible so here when I click on this register new account it becomes the register mode so in register mode the edit username is visible forgot password is gone title is register log text of login button is register and text of change mode is login to existing account and text verify is gone and login mode is set to false okay here you can see that the send verification mail is gone and forgot password is gone and here the text is login to existing account when I click on this it comes back to login mode so initially when app starts it is in login mode and if firebase auth is logged in then I check if email is verified so for that I have a boolean variable called email verified and here I set it to f auth dot get current user dot is email verified here f auth is the firebase auth component and if the name of firebase auth component is different we have to write that component name here so if email is verified then I directly move to chat activity using intent and finish this activity and if email is not verified then I show a dialog with message your email is not verified please verify your email 
and there is a cancel button called OK and then I show this dialog and in on create I uh, set users to stop listening means I add this stop listening for users so that it doesn't download the data of all the users next is the login button so initially the user will click on this register new account and register here so for that we will go to this login button here if length of edit email is more than zero and length of edit password is more than zero then if it is in login mode then we will login firebase auth sign in with email edit email and password edit password so then it will sign in else if it is not in login mode then it means it is in register mode so then we check if the length of edit username is more than three if length of edit username is more than three then i set a string variable username here i have created a string variable username and i set it to edit username get text and then i create a new user firebase auth f auth create user with email edit email and password edit password okay and if length of any of the text fields length of text in any of the text fields is less than means if it is zero means all if any of the fields are empty then it will show all fields are required then there is on create user complete so if the user has registered successfully if it is success then i create a new map variable here i have a new map variable so here i create a new map and put key username value username and put key uid value firebase auth get uid and put key email value firebase auth get email and then in firebase db users i add key firebase auth get uid value the map and then so this will get added to firebase db uh, it means it will get added here with data location users it will first contain users then it will contain the firebase auth uid and then it will contain these three keys with their values so after this i send a verification mail and change it to login mode from register mode to login mode so here i have a new more block called send verification mail and here i have this code you can copy it from the comments or you can just take a screenshot and write it down so here f auth is the firebase auth component from this i get the current user and send email verification and add an on complete listener to this and in on complete method if task is successful then i show message verification mail sent else if task is not successful i show message error sending email and that's all is required for sending a verification email so once the user has verified his email then he can log in by clicking this login button okay so since it comes to login mode here it, it can he can sign in with this email and the password which he enters and in on sign in user complete if it is success then i check if email is verified by using the same code and if email is verified i move to chat activity and finish this activity else if it is not verified i show a dialog with message actually it should be dialog set set message Yeah, so now I will show a dialog with this message. Your email is not verified. Check your email link. So I set this method message and then set OK button to OK and show this dialog. And if it is not in login mode, I change it to login mode. And if there is any error, I toast the error message this is an on sign in user complete now there is this register new account button which is 
id is change underscore mode so here when this change underscore mode is clicked if it is in login mode i set it to register mode else i set it to login mode and then there is this forgot password button when this forgot password is clicked if length of edit email get text is more than zero then i use this firebase auth send password reset email to edit email get text else enter email address so it will send an email it will try to send an email and on reset password email sent if it is success i set the dialog with message password reset email sent please check your email and set cancel button to ok and then i show the dialog okay and if the message is not sent then i set the message to email could not be sent please check the email address and i show the dialog okay so that's all is required here now there is one more button called resend verification mail so this is actually text underscore verify so here if firebase auth is logged in i send verification mail and toast uh, if it is not logged in then i toast register or login first and that's all now let's check this app so here first i will register i will add my email address gmail.com and then a password and my username i will add sanjeev1 so then i will click on register it will take some time and register my account so now it it says verification mail sent so it has registered successfully and sent a verification mail and now when we go to the real time database here you can see this users and it contains my uid firebase auth uid and then it contains the email and my uid and username and in the authentication firebase auth you can see that it contains my email address and here we can reset password disable account delete account or we can copy this okay now let's verify the email for verifying email we have to go to our email so this is the email which i have received and when i click on this link it will verify my email address Okay, now my account is verified and now when I click on login, it will take me to the chat activity. Here in chat activity, I have a logout button and when I click on this logout button, it will automatically log out. So I will just show you this logout button also. Here is this chat activity and it contains a drawer and in the drawer, there is text view logout. And when this is clicked, if Firebase Auth is logged in, I use Firebase Auth sign out and finish this activity. And if it is not logged in, then I directly finish this activity. So that's all in this video. Thank you very much for watching this.